He is a winner, and he is a stalwart on this staff. Today, we'll watch Gavin Floyd as he takes them out. Welcome to K Sports broadcast of MLB. Gary Farn with Steve Phillips, John Cruck. It's a Monday afternoon. U.S. Cellular Field on the south side in Chicago with the White Sox. Steve, what's he looking at as he sees this Tampa Bay lineup? Well, for Gavin Floyd, it's all about working the at-bat to get to a count where he can throw his breaking pitch to get a hitter to chase it. It's a big breaking curveball that he starts in the zone and breaks out of the zone. When he's ahead in the count, it's very effective. Here's the offensive lineup for the Rays. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, a guy who's not going to put eye-popping numbers on the board, James Loney's a guy that when he comes to the field day in and day out, the manager knows what he's going to get. He's not going to get overly excited. He's not going to get down on himself. Leadoff hitter Desmond Jennings. He'll get us started. Center fielder for eight, Desmond Jennings. At the belt, Floyd kicks and throws. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. That two-seam fastball away is just screaming to be hit on the ground as the hitter opens up. Awfully tough to hit with that kind of movement. Here's the pitch. Mm -mm. Helped him out there. 0-2. Well, clearly the pitcher's in control right here. This guy really struggles on the fastball when he's behind in the count. So look for the heat. Swing and a drive, deep left center. One away. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. And uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, Gordon Beckham has finally settled into a position. He tried it at third base, he tried it at shortstop. Now he's entrenched at second base, and it seems like this is where he's most comfortable. The hardest thing to do is to move from one side of the infield to the other, especially when you're going to second base, trying to turn double plays with your back to the runner coming at you. Gordon Beckham has made that transition seamlessly. Up the middle it goes. And Ramirez feels the ball. Retiring Escobar. So with two down, it'll be Matt Joyce. He has three hits, eight at bats against Gavin Floyd. Swung on by Joyce. He got it. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And David Price is the pitcher. He's starting for Tampa Bay. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Boy, you have to be selective against David Price because if you swing at something, you might be overmatched. You've got to try to find the pitch in the right zone or you're going to be in for a long day. He delivers. And the call strike will be taken by Diazzo. Oh, he has great rotation on his breaking ball right here, and he hits the perfect spot. The hitter just gave up on it. Big swing and a miss for Alejandro Diaz. A strike three, and he is out of there. A good sequence of pitches right there using location and selection to get the strikeout. Here's the offense from Robin Ventura. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Adam Dunn is a player that brings excitement to the game of baseball. Most players, when you think of exciting, you think of speed, stealing bases, hitting triples. Now, that's not Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn's excitement comes from he's either going to hit at 600 feet or he's going to take three of the mightiest swings you've ever seen and come up empty. At the belt, Price kicks and throws. Ramirez will foul that one away. Price with strike two. Well, he's a very defensive hitter when the count gets to 0-2, so I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. Let's check out this changeup from KQ. Adam 
done. Well, he pulls the string again. I mean, that's two straight strikeouts on the changeup. That sequence of pitches is amazing. And it's Adam Dunn now. His lifetime average only 170 against the Rays. There's really no explanation on why he has trouble against this team, but he struggles against every pitcher. First pitch was a strike, 0 and 1 now. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something. Swing, hot shot. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Well, the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two-out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. At the belt, Price kicks and throws. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Still scoreless in Chicago. Part of the order due to bat next. And Evan Longoria will stand in. Lifetime, a 222 average against Gavin Floyd. Here's the delivery. He gets Longoria to swing, strike one. Well, that's exactly where you want to throw that breaking ball. You start on the outside part of the plate and let it break away. That's what he did, and he got him reaching. Line shot into center field, and it's through. That's a base hit for Longoria. That will bring out Ben Zobrist. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. And that swung on and hit. Diaz is going to play it. One away. I need a bat. The Tampa Bay Ray. And we're going to see Roberts here. He has a 286 batting average against the White Sox. Longoria is the runner at first. Swung on, hit by Roberts. Two down here in the inning. This ball is headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. James Loney with a runner on at first. Well, this is what you want. You've got speed on first base, tie ball game. You have to do what you can to get him in scoring position. Let's see if they get him going. Oh, and he dropped it. Well, let's see what happens. Luke Scott's at the plate. Designated hitter, number 30, Luke Scott. by Scott. Here's the 0-1 from Floyd. Swing and lined up the middle. And that's a base hit. Scott is on. Here's Longoria headed home. Good offensive chance here. Uh, gets a letter high pitch. A good pitch to hit. And he takes advantage of it. Nice job. Hitting from behind is not an easy thing to do in this game. But a little easier when the pitch is up there. Uh, you throw it over the plate like that, it's going to cost you. That one's drilled to short. And that gets through for a base hit. Loney around third. Headed for the plate. And he scores. And there's our first run of the game. A 1-0 ball game. And so they bring in two here. Base hit knock. And a big one. Brings in a couple of runs. Those two RBIs, boy, that makes a difference. We can see just how much on this WPA chart. And we've got Jennings batting. Offense, when you get it, boy, it doesn't matter what part of the game it is. Now they've got themselves something to build on. Well, at this point in the game, we've seen some very important run production to get on the board early. First pitch on the way. And that swung on and hit. Diaz is going to play it. Rios will field. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And so the scoring came in the second. Second inning sees the first two runs of our ballgame. Tampa Bay leads it two to nothing. Back. 
Chicago White Sox. And Alex Rios to lead off. Number 51. Rios. And Price gets it. Called 0-1. Well, the hitter struggles with curveballs and he's behind in the count. I suspect they're going to go to the hook. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. The pitch. That's it foul by Rios. Foul! Strikes on Alex Rios. What a great pitch that was. Good pitch right there. Two strike fastball inside at the knees, hitting his spots with exceptional velocity. And it'll be Viciato batting. Well, despite going one and six against the Detroit Tigers last year, the Rays had a record of four games over 500 against the AL Central. Starts something off, and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Kind of a weird schedule for the Rays against the Central. By the All-Star break, they had already finished up the year against the White Sox, Twins, and Indians. I think they probably wish they had played them later, too. They won 15 of 24 games against those three teams. Line drive. That's foul oh. towards first. Slowly on the ground to third. And Longoria picks it up. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. Number 21, Tyler Flowers. And uh, here's Flowers at the plate. And Price gets it. Called 0-1. Well, the way to keep the ball in the ballpark is by going down and away. It's the toughest pitch to drive. He executed it well. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line to left. And it's through. That's a base hit. And it's up against the wall. That's going to bring Gordon to back him up. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate. He took advantage of it. Rose on the first side is retired. What a good inning from David Price. He emerges from the plate. And it's Yonel Escobar now. Grounded out his last time up. Escobar. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And it's caught. The play by the Ozzie. One away. That's about as easy as it gets. He could have caught that one in his back pocket. Matt Joyce batting with one down. White Sox really struggled in 2011 against the Eastern Division. And they've done that in recent years as well. The last time they had a winning record against the AL East, back in the World Championship season, 2005. To left center. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. It rolls all the way to the wall. And he stops at third. That's a triple and one out. Number three, Evan Longoria. Boy, when he shoots this one toward the wall, you know he's thinking three all the way. And with his speed, he makes it there easily. Now, with only one out, the manager has a big decision how they're going to pitch to this next guy. And here's the pitch to Longoria. There's a swing and a smash. Diazza to field this one. He comes up with it easily. Here comes the runner for the plate. 
And Joyce is home. So what Steve was talking about against the American League East for the White Sox, it's about uh, the story of a lot of other teams in baseball playing against that division, John. A very, very true. There usually are several very competitive teams in that division, and last year was certainly no different with three 90-win teams coming out of the East. That gets in there. Zobris, base hit. And that will bring Ryan Roberts up. Got to love that first pitch fastball right where he wanted. He was thinking right back up the middle. Base hit the center. He flew out his last time up. And here's the first one. Up the middle. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. Well, it's a good opening for this Tampa Bay offense. Well, all pitchers are taught to keep the ball down in the strike zone. Not too many hitters can go down and get one right there in that particular spot. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch. That's why he's on base. And James Loney up. Lifetime, he's hit two for seven off Floyd. Roberts is on at first. Zobrist has second. And Floyd's pitch, that swung right through. Well, it's so tough to hit a good breaking ball when you swing that hard, but that's what he did. Look at how he almost fell to the ground. Here's the delivery. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. And Loney now, he'll have to protect. Toward short, and there's another one. Couple of quick hits. So let's see what happens. Luke Scott's at the plate. Well, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. I mean, now it's four straight hits. He's got to start wondering what's going on. Maybe he's tipping his pitches, or they're just figuring him out. Well, I think we're seeing some padding here. Although in this game, there's no such thing as insurance runs, really. You got the pitcher on the rope. You have to take advantage of it while he's down. It's off the wall and a hop. And Zobrist will score. And Roberts comes across. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice, short, compact swing. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Diazza to field this one. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Gavin Floyd not having his stuff in that inning. We'll see if he gets it back. The Rays on top, five to nothing. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. Clear skies and U.S. Cellular Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad yeah. to have you with us. In the batter's box, Kevinger. There's a swing and a liner. And that's going to be a base hit. Kevinger on. And that will bring Alejandro Diaz up. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. First pitch to him. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That's one away. Well, he saw the defense shifting the left, so he decides, let me try to go to right field with it. But the right fielder able to run it down. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Here we go with a little breakdown on the types of pitches that he's throwing on the mound that are turning into hits. Looking at this guy's curve, that pitch has been hit three times. And there's definitely a pattern starting to form here. The only time he's given up hits has been when he's gone to that pitch. You might want to dig a little bit deeper into the repertoire to find somewhere else to go. Price too far outside. That's a ball. One chance so far. He's got an 0 for 1. Trying to get the hit here off Price. He saw the changeup as the put-away pitch in his last at-bat. you got to believe he's got to be looking for it somewhere during this at-bat as well. Two away. And he'll have to hold it first. At the plate. He shifted the outfielders to the left. He hit it to left. And he's out. Adam Dunn stands in. Two down. Base hit his last time. Keppinger's first. And starts him out here. 
Good pitch from Price. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. There's Jennings. He pulls it in for the third out. There's another solid inning from David Price. No runs allowed through three. And we'll see the Rays coming up next. We've got the top of the order coming up.